I'm here to talk about my documentary project covering um, the homeless community of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Stevens Point is a community of 25,000 people. It is a college town um, and it's located in central Wisconsin. Um, as far as the homeless community here, I feel that, well, as you know, there are homeless people everywhere, literally, in every little town, every place in America, and the problem is exploding and getting worse. It doesn't, never gets better. It gets worse. You have more and more people that are homeless all the time. So I want to document this community because first of all it happens to be where i landed where i'm where i'm living so i'm here and i also was homeless myself in chicago so i had experienced homelessness um i came here and i was able to you know get things together here i get a, a voucher for housing uh section 8 voucher which I never would have gotten in Chicago because people die waiting for vouchers in Chicago. Um, you can't even apply for a Section 8 voucher in Chicago. Most of the time it's closed. When it is open, there's, you know, so many people. I think there's some sort of a lottery system or something. Anyway, it would have been impossible, you know, if I was still in Chicago, I, I would still be homeless. So I have uh, come to know many of the homeless people here and um i do having been homeless myself i do have a feel for what it's like to be homeless so when i was homeless myself i turned the camera upon myself because i'm a career photojournalist that's the way i made a living um so i'm used to telling the stories of other people and they're mostly you know, tragedies and, and so forth. Um, I worked uh, for half my career uh, in um, print journalism and then the other half in broadcast journalism. So I feel that this community is a microcosm of homeless communities everywhere and of larger homeless communities. So I feel like I couldn't have done this project in Chicago. I could have done the project in Chicago, but I feel it wouldn't be as effective. And I do want to try and raise awareness of homelessness in this community so that, you know, in this community, I feel that being a smaller community, that they can actually do something. I would like to see some action on homelessness so that you're actually not just pushing people around from place to place, you know, like the not in my neighborhood kind of thing attitude or the, oh, we don't want them in the business community, you know, in the business district, you know, rather than that kind of attitude of like sweeping them away to somewhere else, just, you know, they want them out of my sight attitude. So I feel that something can be accomplished in this community. And I feel that you know, if they really address the problem that they can actually get a lot of people off the street. They're not going to totally alleviate the, the issue, but they're going, you know, I, I feel that there is a chance that they could really tackle the problem here and actually get people off the street. Um, so I, my project, the whole purpose or mission of my project is to raise people's awareness and understanding of homelessness so that they, you know, get beyond the stereotypes and actually see homeless people as people that they can relate to, that are relatable, you know. Um, so I'm having success doing that here, I think. Um, I've, you know, gotten the cooperation of many of the homeless people, and uh, I have... Uh, taken a lot of pictures and, and gathered a lot of content as far as getting interviews and, uh, you know, um, getting footage for my 
documentary. I'd like to do a, uh, you know, a video documentary that can be shown around town here, maybe other places, you know. Um, but I do have an exhibit of my photographs because I, I have selected about 30 photographs that are, that, that, you know, I feel will speak to people. And so I have been asked to have a, um, an exhibit at a church. Um, it's actually a, a combination church. It's like a church, an, an Episcopal congregation and a Lutheran congregation got together and decided to share resources combined. They call themselves the Beloved Community, and uh, they're located here in Stevens Point, and they're, um, you know, they have uh, the same, you know, building that they meet in. They are having an open house October 30th. They've invited me to have my exhibit there, so I will have, a, a, you know, an exhibit set up of, uh, you know, 8 by 10 photos, hopefully, Maybe there might be room for one or two other large, larger pictures, uh, but there will be probably about 12 pictures uh, that I will have room to, uh, to uh, exhibit there. So that will be an exhibit that will run through November. And so people can view that exhibit whenever the hours of the, uh, of, of the church, of the community, are open so people will be able from the community will be able to go view the exhibit you know when when they would like to exhibit it or they can come to the open house on the 30th of uh of october um that is i think you know I, my hope is that it, it'll make some difference in the way people perceive homelessness and that's my that's my project that's my this is not the first public exhibit it's actually the second public exhibit the first public exhibit was at the riverfront arts center here where i participated in all their exhibits have been for the past couple of years uh they changed their exhibits their exhibits run like you know for two months at a time so forth i believe it's two months at a time so i've been in several of their exhibits this exhibit, um, the theme was, you know, it was all photos, all photographs, um, and uh, it, it, it's the theme was uh, my favorite, you know, and then whatever that can be interpreted by each artist. So uh, I found that as an opportunity to uh, take actually my favorite picture from that I've taken from my um, my documentary project on the homeless. So it was a picture of a young woman, um, Sky, or I'm sorry, Autumn Sky, uh, and she's laying on the ground. She's she's basically preparing for to go to sleep. Okay. She's sleeping on, and she goes, goes through this routine, you know, she's doing what probably many 18-year-old people, women, would do when they're preparing to sleep. You know, she's got a book, she's reading, you know, she can read from her book. She's got her journal spread out there. She can write, she writes in her journal. She has, of course, her cell phone. Um... And the cell phone provided the light for the photograph. And, um, you know, I wrote about it that, you know, here is a, an 18-year-old young woman preparing for, for bedtime, it, going through a routine that probably many 18-year-old young women would go through when they're preparing to sleep. And, you know, she reads, writes in her journal, she reads, and, you know, she's on the cell phone, you know, this is a little whatever, you know, whatever people do on their cell phone. And um, the only thing different is that her bed is concrete and her bedroom 
is open to the elements. It's outside. So she's homeless. But that's relatable. I think people can relate to that. And this young woman is, um, she's, let's say, a spirited young 18-year-old. But as many 18-year-olds are. But I, I just get the feeling there's some drama in her life in conflict, but, you know, uh, I see her as a, a likable person, basically. She can be unlikable as well, but she's a likable person and she has many qualities. And what I want to do with this project is highlight people's good qualities because we all have good and bad qualities no matter what our economic position is in our lives what you know what group of people economically we belong to in all levels of society there are you know there are are things that that are perfect there are things such as alcoholism mental illness all of the things you find in the homeless community you find in the general communities as a whole at every economic level. So there is nothing in that respect different about homeless people. The only thing is homeless people are out there in public and people can see it. Whereas, you know, people who are working class or middle class or upper class, their problems are behind closed doors. They're not presented out there. And that's the difference to me. And that is why people look down upon homeless people because they can they're more transparent they're out there exposed they're exposed to the elements they're exposed and that's the difference and that's probably all i want to say at this point because i don't want to go too long but i'll talk more about different parts of this uh at some other uh point thank you